So now we're going to see some eddy currents in action. Here is a copper plate that will have eddy currents in it, and here we have an electromagnet. So we're going to pass a big current through these iron um, cores, and it, the, they become magnetized, and it makes a large magnetic field in this gap. Okay? So this plate will slide through there. The magnet is not on. So you can see the plate has a lot of momentum. It'll sit there and swing for many, many, many cycles. When we turn on the magnet, suddenly it's going to run into a region of concentrated magnetic field. So we should have induction because we have a continuous metal object going through many places where the magnetic flux is changing. It'll induce an eddy current, just like we had here, and according to Linz's law, that eddy current will create a force that opposes motion. So let's get it swinging and see what happens. And I'm going to turn it on, power supply on. Still nothing because I haven't thrown the switch yet. So now when I throw the switch, it's going to create the magnetic field. And we'll see if it can do anything to the thing. There it is. Stops it dead in its tracks. So you can see it moves freely. And as soon as we have a current, stops it. I can actually feel the eddy currents when I leave the current on and push this through. It's actually hard to get it through there. Nothing can get past. It's so strong. Now, one way we can really further confirm that it's eddy currents is we can use a different slider. So that was sort of a solid piece of copper, and eddy currents uh, were, flying, were flowing in it. I can also get one that has these little fins. So the next one I'll put in is this one. So you can see it's all slotted, right? It's been cut. So because it's slotted, the eddy currents can't flow over such a large area. You get much smaller eddy currents in these little areas. And they'll have a much they'll create a much smaller force. So let me just change it out real quick for the other one. Alright, let's put on this one. And so nothing as fun as watching someone do something like this on the internet. And now we let it go, and it goes just fine. And when I turn on the magnetic field, we'll see if it stops at all. Nothing. Just keeps going. I don't even feel a force. I can't feel anything because the eddy currents set up in this are so much more limited than in the solid slider.